This child is alive today thanks to this One Blood team member. Hello, I'm Susan Forbes, and we have an incredible story about Javier Franco's selfless act that saved a little boy's life. Javier is a regional director of blood collections at One Blood, and he turned out to be a bone marrow match for a child fighting sickle cell disease. Sickle cell is an inherited blood disorder that causes red blood cells to become crescent-shaped. It's a painful disease and can be life-threatening. Trace and Harold battled the disease for the first six years of his life. The disease was so debilitating that doctors said his only hope was to try and cure him of the disease by having a bone marrow transplant. Now, eight years after receiving that life-changing transplant, Javier and Trayson meet for the first time, and our cameras were there for the emotional moment. Trayson Harrell has a new lease on life, thanks to One Blood team member Javier Franco. Not only was I a match, but I was a perfect match, so very rare. When Javier was asked by the National Marrow Donor Program if he would donate his bone marrow for a child fighting sickle cell, his answer was immediate. Couldn't say no. <laughs> I didn't even think about it, I just said yes. Time was of the essence and things moved quickly. They needed it quick, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a quick thing. Two weeks later, I was at the hospital donating bone marrow. Javier's donation was flown from Florida to Colorado where Trayson was being treated. The very next day, Trayson received the transplant, but soon it became apparent that the transplant was not successful. And that's when Trayson's parents were told their son would need a second transplant. That was one of the worst, worst days. Um, I cried easy for 24 hours. Doctors were confident that Javier was still the best match for Trayson, and soon Javier was asked a familiar question. Will I be willing to do it? Again, I didn't think about it. I'm like, well, absolutely, let's do it, let's get it done. Uh, so we did it again. But the thought never entered your mind not to do it? Absolutely not. Why? Because if I, or one of my family members was in that place and we were looking for that one person to, to save their lives. If I have that power, why wouldn't I show that power? So um, it was just the right thing to do. This time, doctors requested Javier donate his stem cells, a process he did at One Blood's Lake Park Donor Center. Everybody was excited because I was a team member, but I was just excited to be doing it. But it was nice to be part of that and then be also be a part of the team. And on June 6, 2016, Trayson received Javier's stem cells, and this time it worked. Nearly a year to the day of the second transplant, doctors declared Trayson cured of sickle cell. Oh man, that was the best day. The goal was cured. That was the goal. And that's what we went for. Yeah. And that's what we got. I was very relieved. It's, it was a beautiful feeling. Now, seven years later, Trayson is 13 years old, and he and his parents are about to meet Javier for the first time. So definitely nervous, excited, um, just ready for the ride. I finally want to just be able to tell him thank you. This was the big moment on center stage at the South Central Association of Blood Banks annual conference. Javier! Hey, buddy. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. Anytime, bro. Have you thought about him a lot? There are some times where I think back and realize, huh, it really is kind of different now since I can do more. I can do a lot more, actually. And sometimes I think about Javier. I'm like, hmm. I got, I like, I like that guy. <laughs> he opened up so many things for me. Like, I can do a lot more. That's why I appreciate him a lot. We thought of Logan in the journey that we had to face. And we all together, along with Javier, we made it happen. You completely changed our life. Our life was completely changed, and then you changed it back. I wouldn't be here without him. It was amazing to finally meet him the one who just made my life normal. I get to just be a normal person. I get to do all these things I couldn't do, and I appreciate them a lot. What started as an anonymous life-saving donation has now turned into a lifelong friendship. De definitely a great experience, and just even knowing that he got, that he was cured at the end of it, right? It was amazing. He's our real life 
superhero. For One Blood, I'm Susan Forbes.